Why do we fall ill? Learning about infectious diseases and means of spread. Infectious diseases, infectious agents, organisms that can cause disease are found in a wide range. Some of them are viruses, some are bacteria, some are fungi, and some are single celled animals or protozoans. Some diseases are also caused by multicellular organisms such as worms of different kinds. Common examples of diseases caused by viruses are the common cold, influenza, dengue fever and AIDS. Diseases like typhoid fever, cholera, tuberculosis and anthrax are caused by bacteria. Many common skin infections are caused by different kinds of fungi. Protozoan microbes cause many familiar diseases such as malaria and kala azar. All of us have also come across intestinal worm infections as well as diseases like elephantitis caused by different species of worms. All viruses for example live inside host cells whereas bacteria very rarely do. Viruses, bacteria and fungi multiply very quickly while worms multiply very slowly in comparison. Taxonomically, all bacteria are closely related to each other than to viruses and vice versa. As an example, let us take antibiotics. They commonly block biochemical pathways important for bacteria. Many bacteria, for example, make a cell wall to protect themselves. The antibiotic penicillin blocks the bacterial process that build the cell wall. As a result, the growing bacteria become unable to make cell walls and die easily. Human cells don't make a cell wall anyway, so penicillin cannot have such an effect on us. Penicillin will have this effect on any bacteria that use such processes for making cell walls. Antibiotics do not work against viral infections. If we have a common cold, taking antibiotics does not reduce the severity or the duration of the disease. However, if we also get a bacterial infection along with the viral cold, taking antibiotics will help. Even then, the antibiotic will work only against the bacterial part of the infection, not the viral infection. Means of spread Infectious diseases spread from one infected person to other normal person by a variety of methods. Airborne diseases Such disease-causing microbes can spread through the air. This occurs through the little droplets thrown out by an infected person who sneezes or coughs. Some, someone standing close by can breathe in these droplets and the microbes get a chance to start a new infection. Examples of such diseases spread through the air are the common cold, pneumonia and tuberculosis. Waterborne diseases. Diseases can also be spread through water. This occurs if the excreta from someone suffering from an infectious gut disease, such as cholera, get mixed with the drinking water used by people living nearby. The cholera causing microbes will enter new hosts through the water they drink and cause disease in them. Such diseases are much more likely to spread in the absence of safe supplies of drinking water. Sexually transmitted diseases the sexual act is one of the closest physical contacts two people can have with each other. 
not surprisingly there are microbial diseases such as syphilis or aids that are transmitted by sexual contact from one partner to the other however such sexually transmitted diseases are not spread by casual physical contact casual physical contacts include handshakes or hugs sports like wrestling or by any other ways in which we touch each other socially other than the sexual contact the aids virus can also spread through blood to blood contact with infected people or from an infected mother to her baby during pregnancy or through breastfeeding spread of disease through vectors we live in an environment that is full of many other creatures apart from us it is inevitable that many diseases will be transmitted by other animals these animals carry the infecting agents from a sick person to another potential host these animals are thus the intermediaries and are called vectors the, the commonest vectors we all know are mosquitoes mosquitoes feed on many warm blooded animals including us in this way they can transfer diseases from person to person summary the category to which a disease causing organism belongs decides the type of treatment infectious agents are spread through air water physical contact or vectors prevention of disease is more desirable than its successful treatment infectious diseases can be prevented by public health hygiene measures that reduce exposure to infectious agents infectious diseases can also be prevented by using immunization effective prevention of infectious diseases in the community requires that everyone should have access to public hygiene and immunization that is all in this topic stay healthy